hey y'all let's chat i might be a little little more dry because i'm doing this in the morning today um this is an impromptu chat based off something i just heard on the radio and i need to get it off my chest while it's still simmering so i sometimes listen to 107.5 wgc at in the morning and you know i'm pretty much i don't really care for um uh, the crew they okay um I usually don't care for Kendra, but I actually like agree with her this morning. So they do a love them or leave them series um, most mornings where women write in or call in or whatever about a problem that they're having with their man. And then the um, Leon, Kendra, and Kyle give feedback. So this morning, um, a lady calls in and says that her husband, her and her husband are married. Of course. That didn't make sense. Her and her man are married, and when they go out, he introduces her as his wife. You know, he's very affectionate and very clear about the fact that he's married. However, when she notices that when he goes out by himself, he does not wear his wedding ring. And it bothers her because, well, for one, he's a promoter, so she feels like, you know, when he's out, these women don't have anything to, like, symbolize the fact that he's married and um she also said like on his social media because he's presenting this uh promoter type presentation he doesn't really have that many pictures of her up there either she said that's not the part that she cares about she cares about the fact that he does not wear his ring so kendra kyle and leon get to talking about this and you know first kendra's like she doesn't think it's right obviously and the guys are like oh well if they know that he has a wife any other time then the ring shouldn't matter the ring don't matter the, like and kyle is married so i was really surprised he kept saying the ring that it really doesn't matter and i think this brings up a good point before you get married you need to decide what the rings represent to your marriage like they literally talk about the rings being a symbol in the vows so i think i, I that, that's why i say i agree with kendra on this to say that the ring doesn't matter i think that that's disrespectful to the vows that you took because the ring is actually meant to be a symbol you give it meaning so if you don't want your ring to have meaning then don't exchange rings. Don't let that be the symbol of your marriage and your vows. To say that, oh, um, the ring is just, it's just the ring. Is it? That's not what it's supposed to be. That's what you're seeing it as. That's your perception of it. So I think that's, that's an important discussion for um, engaged couples to have. What do we want our rings to symbolize? Because I don't want to get married to a man who thinks that the rings don't mean shit. Because then what the hell we using them for? We can get tattoos, we can get something else, but don't tell me that we we go through this whole marriage and then all of a sudden your ring don't matter. And I also think it's an issue that, you know, just because you think something is petty that your partner feels strongly about that you dismiss it. Like, that that's another part that I didn't like. They're like, oh, well, she's just insecure and a part of marriage is to feel secure with your partner in your marriage like so again if the ring for her is a symbol of their marriage i don't care if the ring attracts that's another point that i was trying to say oh well the ring the ring can attract more women yeah they won't come more for at you i don't give a fuck because if they gonna come they're gonna come but again it, it it's important to take into consideration what that means to your partner not your own selfish shit about wanting to prove a point and wanting your pride because that's the thing pride can't live in no marriage ego can't live in no marriage oh i'm just not gonna wear it to show her that i ain't gotta do shit like if you going into it with that mindset but especially that's supposed to be your partner your life partner whose needs and wants you consider so you all come up with a compromise. You don't just say, oh, well, I think it's stupid, so we ain't talking about it no more. A lot of y'all got that bad. Like, this is somebody who whose opinion you're supposed to consider. You're supposed to love them. You're supposed to want to compromise with them and help them feel secure. Now, that's not to say that, you know, she hasn't... She Again, she, she married a party promoter. So, Honey is probably used to dealing with thoughts and has grown secure in her relationship to even have married the man. 
So, again, I don't think it's fair for them to be like, oh, well, that's stupid. She's insecure. And, you know, if, if you want him, if it's that important, then leave them and go find somebody else. Nobody, you don't have to even jump into that pool. Why are we going there? We don't, I, I, that's sarc like that's, it was a lot of sarcasm around it. Oh, well, she should just leave him because he won't wear his ring. Like, stop making her feel dumb for having a legitimate concern or at least something to talk about like in the phone call she wasn't stressing the issue like oh well i just don't know what i'm gonna do if he just don't wear his ring that wasn't her narrative she just said how can i bring this to him in a way in which he's going to understand that this is something that's important to me so i sometimes i cringe at how they handle issues sometimes because then they want to even though sometimes kendra's women's opinion is a little skewed or not um all encompassing they cal and leon be ganging up on her sometimes i don't like that um because again both of them are married so if you go into a marriage for like oh well we've been married all the time the ring don't matter then what you use it in the ceremony for so that's just something real quick i want y'all to especially you know y'all are that are getting engaged what is the ring gonna mean to you because i just i'm gonna put that on on the table um when my man come along you know finally want to marry a nigga like so what you you gonna wear this ring or not because if you ain't gonna wear it we don't need the bag we can get you something else don't marry don't 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 agree to wear it to appease me well yes to appease me but don't agree that this is like what we doing and then you decide later on when you don't want to do it that's different if you you work in a certain you know a certain area or field that your hands get dirty you know, it could get caught all that that's different this man is a party promoter it ain't shit stopping him from wearing his ring out nothing but again, hear your, hear your partner out. That's what y'all here for. If y'all can't hear each other out and consider each other feelings, what the fuck are you doing? If everybody want to just do whatever they want to do without thinking about another person, that's what that's what it's uh, being single is called. When you're in a relationship, you can't do that no more. Okay, that's all I got. Y'all have a great day.